welcome to true projects in this video we are going to explain about detection of non helmet riders and extraction of license plate number using yolo v2 and osia method introduction the project proposes the creation of an automated system to detect motorcyclists who do not wear helmets currently if a bike rider is not wearing a helmet police officers physically record the image of number plate which is time consuming and often inefficient The suggested project uses Yolo V3 to recognize bike riders in traffic film and assess whether or not they are wearing a helmet. The project's goal is to reduce the amount of human interventions required while also improving the accuracy of monitoring passengers who violate restrictions. Objective: The project's objective is to create an automated system that can detect motorcyclists who are not wearing helmets. The technology uses Yolo V3 to recognize bike riders in traffic footage. and evaluate whether or not they are wearing a helmet the project's goal is to reduce the amount of human interventions required while also improving the accuracy of monitoring passengers who violate restrictions the suggested method is supposed to be more precise and to require less human intervention requirement the requirements of the project are hardware requirements and software requirements in hardware requirements we have operating system windows only processor i5 and above RAM 4 GB and above, hard disk 20 GB and above. Software requirements. In software requirements, we have Python IDE L with 3.7 version. Methodology. To implement this project, we have designed the following modules. The first module is upload image. In this module, we will upload the images of the vehicles with and without helmet. Second module is detect motorbike in person. First image will be uploaded to the application and using Yolo V2 we will check whether image contains person with motorbike or not. If Yolo model detects both person and motorbike then we'll proceed to the third module. Third module is detect helmet. In this module we will use Yolo V3 model to detect whether object wears helmet or not. If if he or she wears helmet then the application will stop there itself. If rider doesn't wear helmet then application will proceed to the fourth module. Fourth module is helmet detection with video. In this module, we will upload a video and detect whether the person is wearing a helmet or not. And if the person is not wearing the helmet, then the number plate of the vehicle will be displayed on the text. Execution. For the execution of the project, we need to open the code folder. This is the code folder. This is the bikes folder in which we have the. test images of the bikes which we will use during the execution of the project this is the data set folder in which we have the images of two wheeler with and without helmet by using these images we will detect non helmet riders and extract number plate using yolo v2 and osia method this is the models folder this folder contains pickle and dot h file stored which contains algorithm information these pickle and dot h files can be loaded into the project code during run time to utilize the train models and this is the videos folder in which we have the test videos which we will use during the execution of the project and this is the main code file test test train yolo yolo detection these are the python files which are used in the main code for the execution of the project This is run dot batch file. Instead of executing a project in the command line interface, we have created Windows batch file to execute the project. Double click on run dot batch file. A graphical user interface will pop up. This is the graphical user interface which we have created using the Kindle library in Python. Using this GUI, we will interact with the project. Click on upload image to upload the image. I'm selecting the second image and open. The image is loaded. Now click on detect motorbike and person to detect the bike and the person. So here this is the image which we have selected and we can see that the person and the bike both are detected. and on top of the box we can see that the person is detected and it is detected in these many seconds now close the image click on detect helmet so here we can see that helmet not detected so this person is not wearing the helmet that is the reason it is detected as helmet not detected and in the text we can see the number plate of the vehicle so this is the number plate detected 
of that particular person. Now click on helmet detection from video. So here I am selecting the first video and open it. So this is the video and here we can see that this person is wearing a helmet and on top of the helmet we can see helmet and the execution time. So we can say that the helmet is detected. Now close the video. Now let us upload another image and see whether the person is wearing a helmet or not. Let's upload another image. So I'm selecting the seventh image and open it. The image is uploaded. Now click on detect motorbike in person. So here we can see that the person and the motorbike both are detected and on top of the bounding box we can see that the person is detected and here also the person is detected. Now close the image and click on detect helmet to detect whether that person is wearing a helmet or not. So here we can see that helmet not detected. Now close the image. In this way, we can detect whether the person is wearing a helmet or not wearing a helmet. And if the person is not wearing the helmet, automatically we will generate the number plate of that vehicle. And we can also detect whether the person is wearing a helmet or not using the video from the video also. Close the GUI and the final conclusion of the project is it can be concluded that the project has the potential to increase the accuracy of monitoring traffic offenses connected to the use of helmets and face masks. The technique is expected to reduce the burden of traffic cops and the time required to identify violators. The usage of YOLO, V3 and OCR algorithms has yielded encouraging results in recognizing bike riders and license plates. The proposed method can be developed further by including other functions such as real-time monitoring and automatic notifications to traffic enforcement officers. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.